morning guys. <clears throat> well that went a bit weird. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. Jesus, it's only 10 days till Christmas. Which means... How's that right? No, 11 days till my birthday. Pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, last night was quite nice. Me and once I finished editing, me and Dad sat and played a bit of World of Warcraft. And then went to bed, I think, at about 10, half 10, because I, got the, I had to be up early this morning. The meal was nice. Um, the pudding wasn't ready though, so we'll have that tonight instead. If it hadn't set, we do, our fridge isn't very good, so it takes a lot longer for things to sit than it should be. We need a new fridge. But yeah, so today I'm at work, and then I have a Rainbow's Christmas party, which is half five to seven, so I probably won't get to record anything tonight. Because once I get home, I'll have to do dinner. And then, I don't know, I'm going to assume that David will want me to boost him a little bit again. So, it looks like I'm not going to get any footage really today. If that is the case, and I do only get the footage of driving to work like I'm doing now, and driving home to Rainbows, I will just put these two, the two videos on the top of tomorrow's one. I keep seeing shadows and it's confusing me. But yeah. Um, nothing else really to say, I don't think. Oh, uh, I think I've got a cold coming though, that's for sure. And I also feel bad that I keep dark, recording in the dark, but the thing is, I leave in the dark, for work in the dark, and I come home in the dark. So, I'm in the dark a lot. And like I said, I can't record when in the mornings because David is asleep and I do not want to wake him up. But, yeah, so... It's quarter to seven and seven and a half degrees. So it's not that cold today, which is good. But I'm gonna concentrate on driving and get to work now, so I will see you all in a bit. Or when I'm driving home. Okay then, so I have now just finished work and you do not get how happy I am to have finished. Like today has been one of those days where I want it to hit my head repeatedly on the desk. I've just it's been stressful. I've had to do all the figures in that for month's end, and usually on something that takes me like a couple of that, an hour or two hours maybe, it's literally taken me eight hours. And during that, I had to do other stuff as well. I had other things that were important, and then I don't even think my boss realised I've just left because of the fact he weren't paying any attention to me when I said I was leaving. But I finished at half four, so I'm finished. But yeah, it's been such one of those days that I was just stressed out so much. I got so I stressed out so much that I've actually bitten a chunk out of my lip. But when I'm stressed and trying and getting so annoyed at people for being idiots and messing things up and getting pissed off, because that's one of the reasons I was taking a while because um, I had to why only I had to get forecast for next week, but only one person was able to do it and I appreciate how much help he did for me. Like he did a lot for me today and I really appreciate his help. But I I was like, why can't other people help him? And then I had to wait for someone else to tell me some important information so I could finish what he, the guy had given me. And I couldn't finish. And then it turns out that the guy the per I'd been given wrong information like a month ago. So I've been doing things wrong. And I was just, ugh. And it would the hell out of me. So I've been holding, biting my lip to stop saying something that would probably get me fired. And at the same time, I've been biting my lip because I'm stressed. So the side of my lip now is basically a bloody uneven bump like if I run my, run my tongue across it I can feel holes in my lip from where I've been chewing it and probably and I've torn parts of the gum the lip the gum or whatever you call it the lip out the skin the flesh I need to start doing that because it is messing up my lips but oh well that's the only way I can stop myself so yeah, and I also noticed I looked like crap, I'm exhausted, and now I've got to rush home, get changed, and get ready for rainbows for huts on there, so I'm there by quarter past five, and then I've got rainbows till seven. So it's a long night, I'm exhausted, I'm pissed off, and angry, and frustrated, and just not in the mood. And yeah, I'm ready for Christmas, I'm ready for a break, because I am fed up now. But like I said, if it weren't for the other guy that helped me, I do not know how I would have got everything done today. I'm trying to get 
I need everything done. I had to get everything done today so that I could do the invoicing on Monday. And if it weren't for this guy helping me, I would not have done it. He like helped me loads, and I really do appreciate it. No, and yeah. Look, like out, out of the place there, he seems to be the only one that will actually help you and do what he can to help you. But, yeah. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to sign off now and concentrate on my driving. And try and stop chewing my lip. I'm going to have to put some makeup on when I get in before going to rainbows because I think I will scare the kids with how rough I look. Look. So I will speak to you all when I get back from rainbows and hopefully rainbows will cheer me up instead of tire me out and stress me out even more than I am. So wish me luck guys. Yeah, so I am back from rainbows. It was definitely a fun night. We were played games. Well, I played past the advent calendar. So instead of past pass, we had past the advent calendar. I used to open the advent calendar. Um, done some, and I had some food, played, had a snowball fight. Um, I made the girls laugh lots, we were listening to Disney Disney songs and there was just me juggling around, dancing and that, so that was fun, it made me in a lot better mood. Um, I did receive two cards from two of the leaders and a Christmas present, so I thought I'd open those with you. And then one little girl did give me a card, so I thought I'd open them, but let's open up my Christmas cards. If I can, I can't open it. <gasps> oh no, I can't open my Christmas card! I am so tired by the way, like, I got home, but I've not exactly just got home, I've kind of had kind of like a power nap, I don't know. So we've got a very cute little Christmas tree, and it just says it's from the Rainbows, Rainbow Group, which is nice. I'm trying to keep my rubbish all in one place. And then we've got another one, oh this one's adorable, it's got glitter! I like glitter. So this one's even to my family. Santa wishes you nothing less than a Christmas filled with happiness. Oh, look, it's glittery. Oh, come on, glitter, show up. Woo, glittery. I like glitter. And then this is the present that the leader got me. And I think it's chocolate. It sounds like Maltesers or something. But it's a bit small for Maltesers. Ooh. It's um, zingy orange matchmakers. So I got those. It smells nice. That's really nice. I thought that was really nice but like I got all the leaders a little badge each, but I weren't expecting anything from men then, but yum yum yum. And then this is from a little one of the little girls that I have rainbowed. So she even got a kiss on the envelope, but I'm gonna have to keep the envelope so. So oh this is adorable. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, I'm definitely keeping this card forever. She made the card herself. Designed by, and this is a girl's name, and it's created, the card has helped raise funds for, and it says the school. And it's her hand prints of snowmen on it. And look at that, I'm going to try and hide her name. But to Vicky, Merry Christmas, love from, and look at all the kisses. Oh my god, I'm definitely, that's such a cute card. So it's like, she, she obviously did a hand print on a bit of paper and decorate it so it could just like got snowflakes on the top and then they made it into a Christmas card that's really adorable I really love that oh wow I'm gonna have to actually message her mum and just say that that's I love it as silly as it is that's so cute oh, I'm definitely gonna keep the whole thing that but I, I'm, I've got a little like um box where I keep little gift the gifts that like little things that the girls make me or draw for me and that that I find really cute and that's definitely going in there because that's just adorable anyway I'm going to end the video here because, as I just said, I was tired and I'm kind of ready for bed, even though it's early. Well, I need to edit this video first and then go to bed. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, I need to go downtown tomorrow. That's one thing. Um, it's my mum's birthday tomorrow, so I actually need to wrap her birthday present up. I'll do that in the morning then. So yeah, I want to go downtown, wrap my mum's birthday present up. Um... I'm selling raffle tickets for Girl Guiding for two hours as well, so I won't be able to record anything. Um, so, yeah, and then I think because it's my mum's birthday, we're having a family meal, we're just going to try and segue something, so I'll be around there, but I'll try and record some stuff. My main thing is to try and get the house tidied and sorted, though, because I've got a whole... I've decided I hoard quite a lot. I keep things just in case, or I keep things that I've never used. I've got loads of clothes I've never even worn. So I've decided before the end of the year, uh, is up. I want to 
have a sort out, get rid of anything that I've not used or worn in like the past six months, three months, give or take. Like I know I have like my autumn clothes and spring clothes and that's that's fine. But if I can't remember like the clothes wise, if I haven't worn them in the past year, they're gone. If I've never worn them, they're gone. And just like items, if I haven't used it in the past six months, I'm gonna get rid of it. So should be a good sort out. And I'm trying to have a bit more of a clearer house and everything. So yeah, it should be busy. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands a lot, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching it. I'm sorry it was a bit boring video, but yeah, I'm still thinking about that awesome Christmas card. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever the time of day is. I hope you're happy and smiling because that's the most important thing. And I shall see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye bye.